Hi guys, teacher Carla here. What's up? Today we'll talk about possessive nouns. Let's go. Possessive noun. Guys, possessives show ownership. That means that something belongs to someone or something. Okay? For example, I have here my beautiful, do you know this? My beautiful pencil case. Yes, my beautiful pencil case. And this is my pencil case. Okay? Belongs to me. So, this is what I'm talking about, that something belongs to someone. In this case, this pencil case belongs to me. Okay? So, in other words, they possess something. Okay? For example, if I want to show that a book belongs to the boy, I would be stated. The boy's book. I can say the, bo uh, the book belongs to the boy. Yes. Okay? This is the boy's book is another way to say the same thing. Like the boy. Like the book. Okay? The boy's book. Let's see the rules. How might you say these ideas using possess possessive form? Let's see. The coat belongs to the girl. The coat belongs to the girl. Okay? So, that show the possessor is the, the girl. And that was possess possessed is the coat. So, I can say the girl's coat. Yeah. For another example, the bone belongs to the dog. Here, I have the dog and the bone. Okay? So, this bone here belongs to the dog. Okay? So, I can say the dog's bone. Another example, the pencil belongs to the teacher. Teacher here possess something and the possession is the pencil okay so i can say the teacher's pencil okay and another example here the jump ropes in the plural i have two jump ropes here belongs to the students i have a lot of students here, okay, that possess something. In this case, two jump ropes. It's jump ropes is in the plural, okay? So, I can say the students jump ropes. Excellent. Guys, I have three basic rules, okay, to make possessives. And what are they? Let's see. Rule number one, to form the possessive of a singular noun. Singular noun, for example, me, Carla, a dog, a teacher, a student, one, just one singular noun, okay? We just add in the end of this word apostrophe and an S, like here, apostrophe and an S. So, my name, Carla, becomes Carla. Yes. Carlos. Okay? This is number one. For singular noun, I just add in the end of this noun, an apostrophe and an S. Okay? Let's see an example. Carlos pencil case. That means... This pencil case is mine. This is my pencil case. Belongs to me. Okay? Rule number two. To form the poss possessive of a plural noun. Plural, more than one. Okay? Plural noun ending with an S. 
okay? A lot of nouns, the plural, ends with an S, okay? For example, car, I have cars. Dog, dogs. Boy, boys. Girl, girls, whatever, okay? So, when I have plural noun, and in an S, okay, I add only the apostrophe, okay? Because I can write the S two times. The letter S can repeat. So, I have here, for example, dogs, more than one, the plural. And I just add the apostrophe, okay? Here, when I have a singular noun, I have to add both an apostrophe and an S. When I have a plural noun and with an S, I have a, I hear, I already have this S, so I can repeat again the S. So I just add the apostrophe. Okay, understand here? And I have here an example the dog's toys. That means I have more than one dog, for example, four dogs, and I have a lot of toys. And these toys belongs, belong to the dogs, okay? Uh, rule number three, let's see. To form the possess possessive of a plural noun that doesn't end with an S, whatever, in the words. In other words, guys, I have a regular noun here, a regular noun that's the plural is irregular, okay? For example, here, I have mice, that's the plural of mouse. I have one mouse, two mice. I can say mices or mouses. It's wrong, okay? I have mouse one two or more mice with an s without an s okay so in this case i treat this word like a singular noun exactly the same okay so mice i have to add apostrophe and an s okay mice okay another example of regular plural for example women women is a plural of woman i have one woman and two women in this case if i want to make the possessive here i add apostrophe and an s women's okay understand this example here i have the mice's cheese yes i have one piece of cheese, one slice, I don't know. And I have a lot of mice fighting with each other <laughs> for this piece of cheese, okay? So the mice is cheese. Guys, now you know how to use the possessives. Let's practice. Let's practice something, okay? A little bit. Singular possessives. Let's see. The lady owns the coat, okay? So, this coat here belongs to the lady. So, how can I say in a possessive way? Number one, the lady's coat. Number two, the lady's coat with an S and apostrophe here. And the lady's coat. Guys, look the noun. Lady, singular noun. With a singular noun, I just add apostrophe and an S. Okay? So, the right answer is number three. Because lady is singular noun, apostrophe and an S. Okay? Another example. The man has a belt. The man has a belt. So, this belt belongs to the man. So, man is a singular, again, singular word. So, 
I have to put the apostrophe and an S. Let's see. Man, no, no. <laughs> Number three, the man's belt. Okay, because singular noun, we just add apostrophe and an S. Very good. Let's see. Guys, now it's a plural poss possessive. Let's see. Pay attention here. The nest belongs to the mice. Okay, this is one nest. Okay, and mice is a plural. Like I said to you before, the, the last slide here, we have a irregular plural here. So, this case here, mice, is a regular plural. So, I made the possessive like a singular noun, remember? So, I have to add an apostrophe and an S. So, the mice, mice is nest. The mice is nest. No. Number one. The mice is nest. Yes, number one. Here, the dishes belong to the woman here i have these dishes okay is a plural noun but woman singular noun okay so woman possess the dishes these dishes here belong to the woman so i have to write woman's dishes with apostrophe, apostrophe and an S. Number two, the correct answer because Oma is a singular noun here, okay, and I just add the apostrophe and an S. Okay, the people own the seats. Guys, we have here the mix of two words in a plural here regular plural i just add, add yes here a regular plural people is a plural of person when i have one person or two people two or more i say people so in this case here peoples possess the seeds so I write this word like a singular noun, okay? Yeah, I made the rule here exactly the same for a singular noun. People owns the seat. So I write people's seats, okay? I just add apostrophe and an S. Number three, very good. And guys, I have here the both together. Let's see. Ring belongs to the girl. Here I have a singular noun, girl. Okay. So a singular noun, I just add apostrophe and an S. The girl's ring. Excellent. And on the last one. The bike belongs to the three boys. I have one bike and the possessor, the possessor is the three boys. Okay, so boys is a plural noun. So just I say the boys bike. Okay, here the boys bike. These words already ends with an S so I need to just put the apostrophe I can repeat the S two times here the boys bike okay guys just a review singular possessed nouns we add apostrophe and an S the man's glow Joe's hat the man's glow and the Joe's hat, okay? And for plural nouns ending with an S, okay? These cats 
I add only the apostrophe, just that. The four cats toys. One, two, three, four cats, so cute. And one toy for four cats, okay? And for plural nouns that not end in an S, I add apostrophe S, like a singular noun, okay? The man, this is a plural of man. The man's car, okay? I have here three men's and I have three cars, okay? So, these cars here, these cars belong to these three men. Hey, okay, guys. So, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope we will be together very, very soon, okay? Bye-bye. See you.